Hello world, it is Thursday, April 21st, 2022, and looking out the window at Defiance. It Here it is overcast and kind of rainy, and I think it's supposed to be that way most of the day today, and um, I think partly tomorrow as well, before getting very warm for Saturday and Sunday, and then getting back to spring-like temperatures in um, the next week. The devotion for today is entitled Noisy by Rachel Hackenberg. Race, um, Rachel bases the devotion upon Psalm 150, verses 3 through 5, from the New Revised Standard Version, adapted for inclusive language. Praise God with trumpet sound, with lute and harp. Praise God with tambourine and dance, with strings and pipe. Praise God with clanging cymbals. Praise God with loud clashing cymbals. And Rachel writes, I grew up in a quiet church, a don't run in the sanctuary church, a sit still in the pews church. Only on Good Fridays was a harsh jarring sound intentionally included in worship when a loud minor chord from the organ crashed through the silence to symbolize the closing of Jesus' tomb. Loud, disruptive sounds without context or key were not considered worshipful. But pitched sounds, harmonized sounds, sounds that soothed or inspired or rejoiced, those sounds were worshipful. Easter morning trumpets and taze meditating guitars, angelic harps and robed choirs, amazing grace on a still learning violinist untuned strings, the organ's wooden flute pipes or an electronic facsimile thereof. Clang, crash, whack, roll, bang, splash. Interruptions of serenity meant bad news, Good Friday news. Yet twice in Psalm 150 verse 5, the psalmist calls for loud interruptions of clanging and bashing, clashing and clanging. Twice the psalmist directs the percussionist to override the worshipful harmonies with a deafening, deafening metallic splash. Twice the psalmist instructs more, louder, more and louder because God's greatness is an interruption, a crashing in interjection of good news amid the world's troubles. More and louder because this is not the time for a symphony of the status quo. More and louder because Easter's life is greater than Good Friday's death. More and louder because the world needs a sustained jolt of joy to quake the foundations of power. Because you and I and our communities need a crash of unrestrained hope to interrupt fear, because too much of our breath is spent on stress and survival, while the road of freedom symbol is calling us to dance and shout. And the prayer. Making me a crashing symbol, O God, a clanging gong, a disruptive drum for the purpose of your praise. Amen. Well, every devotion affects me differently. And for this one, one of the things this made me think of is um, worship and what inspires people and what doesn't inspire people. And the hardest part about um, putting together a worship service is no one's in agreement. <laughs> Everyone is inspired by different music, different sounds, different visual effects, uh, different things in the sanctuary. Uh, there is no one right way to do it other than to praise God and to, um, with whatever that means to us as individuals. So I'm, I hope that we can build a culture within St. John UCC in which we understand that um, some things are really going to appeal to us in a worship service and other things are going to really appeal to someone else but not so much to us. But the intent is always to show God our love and our concern and our worship and to get connected with God <clears throat> so that we can go out into the world and um, be Jesus' living hands and feet in the world. I don't know if that was really the point that Rachel had when she was writing this devotion, but that's what how it struck me. And that's the thing about devotions is um, you take out of it what you need or what it speaks to you in your heart. 
Well, today is Thursday, and I've got a busy weekend again, so um, I hope to see you on Sunday. Um, worship service is at 10.30, although music starts about 10.15 or so, uh, followed by announcements at 10.27, and then um, worship follows as soon as the, the announcements are done. So I hope you can join us either in person or still on Facebook Live. And invite someone to come with you, whether it's at home or in person in, in our worship space. Hope to see you then. Take care.